at the when the children will be learning the language at the later stage of life they will know they will come to know that oh this was wrong so he or she will correct it okay now coming to the next very important uh, you know area of your unit is uh, elements of a sentence nuclear and optional and this is a very important you know item in this uh, unit because though we are using sentences though we are speaking though we are writing but we have to understand what is a sentence actually let's uh, give an example of a sentence the we are speaking though we are writing but we have to understand what is a sentence actually let's uh, give an example of a sentence the question is what is a sentence right what is a sentence so while we will be talking about a language the sentence is the minimum basic unit with which conveys the full meaning complete meaning and without a sentence we can't convey our thoughts feelings or ideas to the listeners to whom we intend to uh, convey the message so for example our teacher teaches us well okay examining this sentence what do we see we see that in a sentence to become a sentence it requires a subject a verb and complements or objects right so all these elements will make a sentence complete and let's see some definitions are given by some of the uh, you know experts or linguists let's uh, see the slide uh, uh, what is a sentence a sentence is a set of words complete in itself as the expression of a thought containing or implying a subject and a predicate and conveying a statement a question an exclamation or a command so from this definition uh, we can come to the conclusion that there must be at least one subject and predicate and here you see what is the subject the subject then this part is called subject this part is called predicate so each sentence must have two parts subject and predicate and in the pred predicate part the most important thing is the verb verb right so without a verb and without a subject we cannot think of a sentence how can we understand that this is a sentence it may have the subject as a single word or more than a word you see i i smile here you see subject is only one single word it may be more than one word two words or more than okay let me so one example my brother my brother Here, see, the whole three words become the subject. Subject is the main part or the uh, nuclear element of a sentence. And the verb, without a verb, you cannot even think of a sentence. And verb may be used just for once and it will become a sentence without a subject it is implied huh? for example come come here here you will see 
there is no subject at all but it is implied that i am talking to you so you is the subject which is hidden here so we have to understand that you is here right you is the subject so in this way we can construct a sentence and it must have some qualities it must convey a statement it may be a question for example this is a question right this is a question and this is a statement and sometimes we also use a sentence to express our exclamation say what a lovely what a lovely flower right this you see this is a question this is a exclamation 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 and this is a statement and say march forward forward this is a common so to become a sentence these four types the four forms are necessary one is the question while we'll be asking questions or uh, we're requesting someone to do we can ask questions right okay now coming to the characteristics of a complete sentence there must be some characteristics which will make a sentence a complete one let's see the slide uh to become a sentence there must be the capital letter at the first word the, the sentence the first word of the sentence must begin with a capital letter especially in english language then it it, it concludes an end mark it concludes with an end mark either a full stop a question mark or an exclamation mark for a statement we have to use the uh, full stop and for a question or a inter an interrogative sentence we have to use the question mark and for a statement exclaiming something or to denote exclamation we have to use the mark of exclamation and it must contain at least one main clause consisting of an independent subject and a verb and it must express a complete thought then it will become a complete or full sentence now let's see why are sentences so important with the sentences can we speak can we write no so sentences are more than just string of words let's see the slide sentences are actually a combination of words language and give it personality and with those sentences there is no real communication at all so to communicate we have to use sentences and as i told you earlier sentence a sentence is the basic minimum you know uh, form of a language so we have to be very careful about using sentences in both written and spoken form and we must take care of the children while we will be teaching in our classroom uh, they should be encouraged to answer or reply or say anything in a complete sentences for example uh, if i ask someone what's your name if he or she says simply for for example a girl i am rina yes my name is rina but if she says rina you should not encourage that you have to tell her that again speak the complete sentence not rina but i am rina or my name is rina if i say or i if i ask a student where are you going home no you should not encourage that the child should be asked to say in complete sentence that i am going home not simply home so in this way it can 
make them use a complete sentence, how words are used in the sentence to give the complete sense. Now, there are some basic elements of a sentence. A sentence may be composed of mainly five different elements. One is subject, the other is verb, the third element is object, fourth is a complement, and the fifth one is adverbial. And out of these five elements, two elements are mandatory. Without these elements, we cannot make a sentence or we cannot make a sense of, out of a sentence and we can call these elements nuclear elements. They are subjects and verbs and the other elements are optional. They are objects, complements and adverbials. Let's see the slide. The shortest sentence is sentence or I can write words Hi. Okay. Here is subject, that's her. So, to, for making a sentence, we must have at least these two items, these two elements, and they are mandatory, and they are the nuclear elements of a sentence. And if I add other things here, oh, birds fly in the sky. Okay? We can extend it. We can extend the sentence. And these parts are becomes adverbs or complements. For, if I write another example, I will give you another example for you. Hmm. My, uh, okay, fa my mother, mother gave me a book. Here, you see, my mother is the subject, gave the verb, me is the object, and a book is also an object, okay? This is a direct object and this is an indirect object. So you see, again we can make sentences using these elements in different contexts for giving different meanings for different purposes. And if a sentence doesn't contain a subject or a verb, it is not a complete sentence. And you know, that all the parts of English are used in formation of a sentence. You know, there are so many parts of, you know, noun, pronoun, verb, adverb, adjectives, all these five or seven, right? These are the parts of speech. And let me give you one very important example of an essential nucleus of a simple English sentence. How does it look like? Here you see, A student, suppose a student gives a pen to, uh, to the teacher. Teacher. So to make it a complete sentence or a, sen a sentence in total form formation or uh, you know the structure, it must have subject and 